Here we go. Here we go. Can't see a thing. <laughs> hey guys, today's a really cool video. I'm already about to go in the water. Bob's been in. I'm on an adventure with uh, diving legend Bob Chalk. And uh, he's going down to photograph and film something down there and I'm gonna be uh, going around the cove and exploring. So, pretty excited. Uh, this is like a dream come true for me. I see you you you, uh, you do it as you take it out. Yeah. Well, you want me to do it? Hold the camera? Yeah. Sure. Off my commentary, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <clears throat> People might wa wa uh, watching would probably really appreciate that. And then it's also good promotion for the for the book. Oh yeah, this is the guy who wrote the book. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description below for everyone watching to, to uh, go buy this book. What do we got here? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, 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 farmers. Classic old farmer's milk bottle and in mint condition. So these, that round uh, plug there, the, the round crest, that is an indicator that this is probably from, my guess would be the 1930s, probably 30s, 40s at the latest. Okay. Got a limpet here. <laughs> All right, a few inside as well. All right, put that guy there. That, I see a lot of these green bottles there. The, I assume they're beer bottles? A genuine beer bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's a quart. I remember those, actually. They're not, you never see them now. But back when I was uh, in university, 
It was quite common. If you went in, I remember when I lived in Ottawa, going to the Carlton Hotel for a beer. Uh, you, if you ordered a beer, you got a quart. You got one of these. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is your genuine beer bottle. And I'm assuming that's like a pickle or olive. Yeah. <laughs> Not the limits on that guy. <laughs> yeah, that would have had a paper label. My guess is uh, 40s, maybe. Yeah, I found a couple of those before. You gotta have one of these <laughs> in your collection. Here. You can do the cut. Yep. I did pull out a broken. I kept it because there was some writing on. That's a milk bottle. It's a Scotia Pure Milk Company. <laughs> that is. You need to get a, a an intact one of those for sure. I took it because it had writing on it. Yeah, well, that is, is special because that, I believe, Scotia Pure Milk Company, I believe, is the first company in Nova Scotia to bottle milk. Okay. So they were they started in business around 1910. They were located where the Cogswell Interchange is, the one that they're getting rid of in downtown Halifax. And uh, this is a, a bowling pin shape. And the great irony is... Even though these bottles are, like that bottle is from, uh, could be from like anywhere from 1910 to 1920. Mm -hmm. Even though they're they're really well made, that they're some of the oldest milk bottles that you find in the harbor. Okay. That's so a shame it's broken. So there's a, uh, I've got one of these that's amber. Yes. Uh, which is extremely rare because this was the days before refrigeration. And... Uh, uh, so, you, you know, you had to store the, the milk on ice and uh, you and in the early days of bottling milk, you wanted the customers wanted to see the milk, make sure that it wasn't buttermilk or yogurt by then. <laughs> uh, so with an amber bottle, they couldn't see it. So they didn't catch on at all. And as a consequence, very few were made. So if you find an amber milk bottle, you have a very rare bottle. No writing. No writing. It's a bummer, yeah. Yeah. That happened. Though that means that that had what was called an ACL label, applied color label, like the pop bottles. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, the uh, Brookfield Ice Cream Limited was the milk, the milk company where I lived, and uh, they had the ACL labels on. It goes on the modern shelf. <laughs> Somebody's herb. <laughs> Those things. <laughs> they give me the spook. They spook, you yeah. know. They oh. you come up, you get those dolls, look up, and yeah. you think, ah! <laughs> it's a baby, somebody threw their baby away. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the writing say? Dr. J. Lambert Limited. I have screw top versions of those, but I've never found one with that lid before. Yeah, no, no, this is, this is, a, like, this is a serious keeper. You know what's worse? I don't have one of them. <laughs> oh no, did I find a bottle that you don't have? <laughs> yeah, so I'll just drop you anywhere here if you want to walk home. <laughs> oh, that's a good find, absolutely. <laughs> that was just right there, Bob, just right in front of those rocks right there. That's... Now that could be, I'm thinking that Dr. J, D, is it? Or o, J, O, Lambert, Montreal, New York. I'm thinking there used to be a drug company, you know, a big drug company, called Warner Lambert. And uh, they are now, so they changed, they got bought or something or other, but they were a big company there. I remember their uh, location in Toronto when I lived there. So uh, that probably was uh, uh, morphed out of this, this guy, Doctor. And there might or might not have been, of course, a Dr. J. O. Lambert. They just refused to <laughs> indigo. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff about bottles, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. And then I'll put a link uh, to it online in my description too. So, Okay, cool. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today.